Hello guys, welcome to part two of building Castle Leslie. Uh, when we last left off, I had planned out uh, the layout for the first two parts of this. Uh, we're going to plan out the third part of this today. And I'm going to start working on uh, probably building up this gatehouse, I think is the direction I want to go with. Uh, but if we don't get to that, I might just start building out some of these shapes uh, to be a bit more three-dimensional so that I get a better idea of the scope that we're working with. All right, guys, the plan is starting to look a little bit messy, but I wanted to tune back in and give you an update. Uh, the next time you see this, I'll probably be trying to fill in some of these shapes to make a bit more sense of it. Um, but I think it's starting to come along and I'm getting a better idea of this as I go along. So this central area, uh, like I said in the first video, is going to be like very much an entrance kind of thing. Uh, it's probably going to be like a little garden, um, like a little vegetable garden, some stables and stuff. Uh, this section is going to be more complete. Uh, it's like a bit closer to the castle, so we're getting like a little blacksmith, uh, kennels, uh, probably some bedrooms for like servants. But I might swap some of those things around. Uh, somewhere in here, possibly this building is going to be um, some sort of like prayer area. Uh, I think it could be cool to make it non-Christian this time. So I'm going to really try uh, to lean into something a little bit more uh, maybe mystical. Uh, but I know I've said that before and I keep kind of messing it up. So uh, it's up in the air. Uh, we have a couple more halls around here. Uh, this here is probably going to be some kind of like feast hall. Uh, but it could end up being a ballroom because I've wanted to build a ballroom for so long and I've like never been able to because uh, I don't usually build castles on the scale. Uh, over here, we're going to have some more kind of general areas. Uh, going to have a pretty tall tower here, uh, a small kind of uh, terrace in the back. And this is it. This is the main keep. So uh, if you watch my Clarendon video, uh, I used a kind of like square Norman style keep as my base for that. And it's probably going to be my base for this thing too. So it's uh, it's going to be pretty big, but I'm going to try and keep it detailed. Uh, as you can see on the outside, as we get closer to here, uh, the walls are getting thicker uh, for most of these things at least. So our builds here are about two blocks thick, and this is going to be two blocks. So an interior layer, an exterior layer. Uh, and then this is going to be kind of like a more decorative exterior layer on the outside with some square uh, or probably round towers in the corners. Uh, when you see those little towers like that, that indicates uh, one of those little round towers. Uh, I'll show you. So that's something like this. Uh, where it's a rounded tower using the walls. So yeah, uh, when we tune back in, I'm probably gonna try and figure out some of these shapes a little bit better and I might start working on the palette, but I think that's gonna be a bit too early for this video still. All right, guys, final clip of the video. I've been working on this some more. Uh, we've started putting down the tough layer and I also started blocking out some more of those shapes over there. I've decided roughly how tall I want it to be. At the beginning of last episode, we mapped out that this was probably gonna be our main uh, kind of viewing point for this castle. And I wanna continue uh, revisiting this to uh, kind of go back and ask, uh, does the silhouette of this still look good? Like, does it still have a good uh, figure, a good shape? Because uh, one of my favorite castles, uh, Stoneheart, way over there, has a really nice silhouette against like the sea and the cliffs, and that's like my favorite thing about it. So uh, that's something I want to bring into this as well. Uh, the other thing, uh, I've decided to go for a slightly darker material down the bottom here. Like I said, I want this tower to be uh, really old. Uh, I'm still not sure if I want to do square bits on the corners or circular, so I guess that's going to be a bit more of a later decision. And I switched around some of these shapes over here because I really want to go for like the kind of tall, uh, like these kind of long, tall halls. Um, it's a little bit like a Disney castle aesthetic, but I don't really want to put that name to it to like give you a false impression. Uh, we also brought in some grass to kind of level it out because it was kind of hard to plan out for me. Um, you can see some of these bits are in the sky just because planning out gets really messy. I mean, I 
I don't usually use this many colors, but I don't usually do builds that are this uh, complex. So I think the next episode you see, uh, I'm probably going to work some more on the getting some of this uh, tough in. Um, I might work on some of these initial buildings. I was thinking I might make this one actually out of uh, terracotta to differentiate it from the stuff at the back. Um, but that's really up in the air, so I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Just floating around the idea. Uh, over here, I've decided that I think we're going to do uh, a kind of dock under construction, or maybe a dock that's just full of construction materials, because uh, I think maybe like this tower is going to be full of scaffolding, because I want to go with the idea that this place is really uh, developing over time. And uh, as we get further over here, uh, we're getting a little bit more and more uh, recent and modern and different techniques. Uh, I did decide that this is going to be the oldest tower. So uh, we're probably going to have a little like A-frame roof here uh, using the granite and bricks, I think. Uh, whoops. Uh, but there's a chance that I might change that out for some of those really dark deep slate tiles. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess it'll depend which way, uh, which way it's leaning more so. Uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little update, and I look forward to seeing you next time. So yeah, see ya.